Hello, Shane Ward here. I want to take a few minutes to visit with you about woven wire. There's a few basic questions that you need to answer for yourself so that you determine the correct wire for your fencing project. Now, for instance, we're going to talk about the spacings of the wire. We're going to talk about the different gauges of wire, as well as the actual way that the verticals and the horizontals are tied together. Now, to get started, what we want to first do is talk to you about reading a label. We'll come over here to this one here. Notice it says 949.6. Nine is the number of line wires that are horizontally within this row. 49 inches is the total height of this particular row. And the six is the space between the actual verticals. Next, this one here is a 13, 48, four, being 13 verticals, 48 inches in height. And this one here has spacings of four inches. Occasionally, you'll see wire that won't have, have just a basic label. And so on the inside is going to be a label. On this one, <clears throat> this one doesn't spell out our actual number of vertical lines like this one over here next to us, but it states that the spacing is six inches so there's six inches between the individual verticals. Height is 47 inches. Now something that I want to point out about this particular roll of wire is you'll notice it says 12 and a half dash 14 and a half gauge. What that's doing is letting you know that this top strand and bottom strand are going to be 12 and a half gauge wire where the interior wires are going to be 14 and a half gauge. Now that we've talked about kind of reading the label itself and all, let's talk about the different styles of knots that the vertical and the horizontal are connected together with. This particular roll is called hinge joint. Each wire is twisted around. Basically, it starts up here, comes down, twist around, then a next wire starts here, twist around, comes down. That goes from the top all the way down. This is the type of wire that was original to the woven wire fencing. This particular style will slide back and forth on your horizontals, so it doesn't have the best holding strength. On this particular row, this is called a fast lock. Your vertical wire twist around at the top and goes all the way down to the bottom and twist at the bottom. Here at the individual junction points, it's what we call the fast lock uh, grip on it. You'll notice it's just a piece of wire itself that's twisted back around. I'll spin it around to this back side. You can see how it connects on right there. This particular joint as well will, will slide on your horizontals. But you'll typically see this on wire that has a little bit closer spacings like the two by four, four by four type wire. On this particular roll of wire, this is a fixed knot. This particular vertical is twisted around and one stay goes all the way to the bottom. At the individual junction points, you'll notice the diamond pattern of the fixed knot itself, which locks that wire in place. This particular style of knot is very secure and is very hard for livestock to scoot it back and forth. If this video has been helpful, hit like and follow and subscribe so that you'll be notified of future videos. If you need additional assistance, please give us a call or visit us on the website.